Good morning, folks. 171 angstroms is best for showing the bright umbral fields above sunspots and connecting to magnetic areas. The sun was absolutely as calm as it appears here over the last day. Solar flaring remains extremely low. The sun's activity is trending down along with the sunspot number. We might have a few more coming in soon if the umbral fields have anything to say about it. It could be plague or mesospot areas, but it looks like sunspots to me. Nice filament towering south of it there, too. Third gamma burst in a week after having none for 10 days. Also on the incoming, we see solar wind peaking in speed with a bit of density, too, so magnetic instability remains. We'll be monitoring this today. The coronal hole factor is elevated on the northern dark patch, the next transequatorial portion coming in a few days from now. It is a positive opening as well in green. Overnight, you may have noticed that we dropped the earthquake index again as the transequatorial opening is not yet facing Earth. The planetary factor is going to be on the decline here as we are now between the Venus and Jupiter conjunctions. Sunspot factor is rising as a trough is expected in the coming few days or so, which could bump us back up if it happens during the transequatorial coronal hole's Earth-facing position. Could be right back up at a solid watch soon. Since dropping the watch, however, we have seen no significant quakes. Magnitude 5s and a 4.5 in Cuba are the top shakes to report. Twin typhoons strengthening and continuing to head west. Kong Pop would say the energy is in the atmosphere, not the ground. Also got that storm we're watching to the east. We're going to have major alerts all week following this convergence line in the U.S. Tornadoes are possible across a large area tonight. Over in Europe, let's point out a convergence in the same spot we saw it yesterday in a more organized low off the Irish coast. Clouds stake claim to those areas, of course. And down under, this story sounds familiar. Lows and convergence lines taking the clouds and the top alerts. It is August 17th, and in two months on October 17th, our first conference will begin. Observing the Frontier links are found on this YouTube page and at suspiciousobservers.org, featuring geniuses like Dr. Robitaille and Dr. Uyen. Since this is the Observers Conference, I figured it made sense to have a more prominent role myself, and your emails do say the same, so I've got four talks over the weekend. Check out the speakers and the schedule, and definitely come see us. We've got your current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.